Hello and welcome. Superstar David Bowie was much more than just a recording artist and rock music act. He was a mime performer, art collector, composer, painter and an accomplished stage and screen actor with a diverse range of roles limited mainly by lack of time to fit in his multiple interests and music video schedules. His breakthrough hit was 1969's Space Oddity and his first major film role was in The Man Who Fell to Earth in 1976. David went on to star or co-star in movies like Labyrinth, Yellowbeard, The Hunger with Catherine Deneuve, The Linguini Incident with Rosanna Arquette and Just a Gigolo with Kim Novak. But back in 1983, famous Japanese director Nagisa Oshima cast David in the controversial World War II prisoner of war drama Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. It was a brave call by Oshima-san, but he more than balanced it by also casting Japanese rock star Ryuchi Sakamoto opposite David, as well as Britain's Tom Conti and Australian Jack Thompson in the cast. The story focused on the clashing cultures and brutal attitudes to war, survival and honour. And after a mixed and sometimes angry reaction to the film screening at that year's Cannes Film Festival, David fronted the regular post-screening press conference with Oshima and Sakamoto, where the British star was asked to explain why he took the role and his approach to the film and its collisions of cultures. And a language alert, the questions and answers are in English, French and Japanese. David, could I ask you to expand on uh, one of the previous uh, questions and answers, and that is the experience of working with Mr. Oshima, and uh, perhaps in part of that, talk a little bit about the most difficult part for you in creating the character and making the film. Uh, je voudrais quand même, Monsieur Bay, uh, vous demander de parler encore de votre expérience, de votre travail avec Monsieur Oshima, et uh, les, les problèmes et les difficultés de créer le personnage que vous avez joué. I think um, the first part I can answer quite simply that uh, Oshima San gave me freedom as an actor to express the character in uh, whichever way I, I saw him. Um, the second part, I think it was for me uh, a novice actor in terms of film and stage. Um, yeah. I think it was it required of me to summon up a lot of uh, my own life's experiences which uh, I found quite grueling for the first few weeks until I could learn to apply them to the character that I was playing. It's, uh, I've never played anything so unstylized before. Um, I think that's what made it so rewarding for me. Uh, Monsieur Barry, Dick, I should... Thank you. In fact, if you looked very closely, you would have seen flash on the side of the uniform that read Australia. He was uh, an Australian officer serving with the RAF. And uh, I think he probably sounded more British than uh, most of the British, because that's the sort of thing that uh, Australians who identified with the Empire did. So, in fact, I was playing an Australian officer, but uh, with obvious British Empire overtones. Bien, M. Thompson dit que si vous aviez bien regardé, vous auriez vu sur ses épaulettes qu'il y avait un petit mot à US qui voulait dire qu'il était un Australien qui servait dans le... Uh, Gypsy, well, I left 10 quid in a hotel drawer on my first tour and I'm still looking for it. Um, what was the other question? Oh, that's right. Uh, I get up. <laughs> I, I, I do um, a certain amount of, uh, uh, believe it or not, gym work in the mornings. And uh, boxing, to be precise. And uh, I ski a lot. And I'm, I suppose I'm a sportsman. And I'm very healthy because of that. <laughs> Bien, si vous dites que je suis un gitan, c'est vrai. Euh, la première fois que je suis parti en tournée, j'ai laissé 10 livres dans un tiroir et je le cherche depuis. Qu'est-ce que ça vous avez dit après Bien, je me l'appelle. Je vais demander à M. Oshima pourquoi il uh, a cast en particulier David, Tom Conti et Jack dans les rôles. Qu'est-ce que vous avez pensé en choisissant chacun de ces trois acteurs pour être les clés européennes Je voudrais ah. demander à, à M. Oshima. Pourquoi vous avez euh, donné des rôles à David Bowie, à Tom Conte et à Jack euh, Thompson 
Quelle était votre idée quand vous avez fait ce casting あの、デビッド en ce qui concerne David, je l'ai choisi euh, en premier lieu, c'était le personnage clé, c'est lui que j'ai choisi d'abord, c'est parce que c'était le rôle le plus important, il fallait que son personnage, ce soit quelqu'un d'extraordinaire, qui puisse faire euh, charmer ou attirer. Je suis pour David Bowie, il était le premier personnage que j'ai choisi parce qu'il était le premier personnage dans le film. Et il devait être un personnage très extraordinaire qui était capable de le charmer, de l'attraper ou de faire une damnation pour quelqu'un. Il devait aussi être quelqu'un qui était beautiful, qui était strong et extrêmement pur. Mais je pense que David Bowie aussi a choisi moi. Si je peux expander la question, pourquoi vous avez choisi M. Oshima pour les deux leads Deux rock stars pour mieux ou pour mieux Parce que c'est un mot de mieux. Pourquoi est-ce que vous avez choisi M. Oshima pour les deux leads Pour mieux ou pour mieux Qui sont presque peut-être twins in their approach to performing as opposed to very strongly structured theatrical actors like Mr. Conti. And what did those two as rock stars bring to your direction which you really wanted but didn't know how to get? Uh, 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 まず as I said before, the first person that I cast was David Bowie, who was an angel. But also around him, there had to be very pure people who, won, who won, did not have the, the usual sort of tics of professional actors. And therefore, each person had to have a remarkable personality to, to be with this absolutely remarkable personality. And that's why I chose Tom Conti, Jack Thompson, and Rishi Sakamoto. As it happens, I also have Ziggy Stardust playing here, which is something quite personal to me, and also Yellowbeard. Um, so it's not really that hard. This is the one film that would not get otherwise as much um, ostensible publicity unless um, I could uh, really put my belief in it public. I think, really, it... it uh, serves one well as an audience to uh, quickly see past their homosexuality. That is um, used as um, an overlay to what I believe is a film about spiritual values and how one culture, in getting to understand and cooperate with another culture, tends to lose part of its own inherent makeup. I think the fact that there are not many women in it is there weren't many in the camps. Moi, je crois que cette question est quelque peu dirigée à nous deux. Et je crois qu'il est... I think I've always, well, up to now, I've played roles that have some uh, um, obvious impediments of some nature or another. Um, I think that emphasizes the um, difference of the characters that I've uh, chosen to play to the uh, others that surround me. I think, uh, I think therefore I am. Um, I, don't, I don't really relish the idea of only being seen as an outsider. But um, it's been like that so far. I was um, thoroughly relieved that um, Sakamoto-san undertook the, uh, the, the prospects of creating music for it, which I think he did magnificently. It's an uh, extraordinary um, soundtrack. Um, in regard to my own work, 
I think it produced um, an unwilling sensitivity to the human situation, which I hadn't discovered before. It possibly is uh, a good thing. Apologies for the odd dropouts there as we were relying on their audio system. Now, David's last movie role was in 2006's The Prestige, starring Hugh Jackman, Scarlett Johansson, Christian Bale and Michael Caine. Back in the late 1970s, he'd appeared in the title role of the Broadway drama The Elephant Man, winning many plaudits for his performances. David died from liver cancer in January 2016 in New York. <laughs> 